it's known as the fairground. It will eventually flow into the River Thames. It looks like these trees were once used as a gatepost. Hello, thank you for joining me on this winter's day. You can see where I am. I'm at Mortimer Railway Station. This is on the railway line from Reading down to Basingstoke. Very nice Italianate station building. Today is another episode of Classic Villages of England. What we're going to do, we're going to explore the village of Stratfield, Mortimer and Mortimer Common. So this station, it opened on the 1st of November 1848. When this station opened, the church over there wasn't there. That's where we're going to go to next. Yeah, it's all right, I'm behind the other line. Um, so, yeah, so the station opened at 1848. And I say it's just the line from Reading to Basingstoke. So that way is looking towards Reading. The other way is looking towards Basingstoke. I really like this station, very nice and Italianate. It's, I think the other similar one on the network is at Chepstow, which I remember going to as a child and watching trains there. So it's got this Italianate style. If you look at the arches and that, it does also remind me a bit of Taplow, but Taplow's on a larger scale, so it may well be the same architect. So I'm going to make my way out the station and walk up to Stratfield Mortimer where the church is. Oh look, it's nice to see the uh, GWR benches, wooden benches, I think wooden benches, especially on a cold day like today. It's just nicer to sit on, it's warmer. You sit on a metal bench, it's freezing. Now as I sit here, I just look at that. That's one of the nicest station buildings we've ever seen. Almost symmetrical, except for the chimneys. One other thing I want to show you, it looks as though there's going to be some engineering work taking place here this weekend because the car park is full of various diggers with rail wheels. I'm wondering also, I mean this station um, it doesn't have lifts at the moment. Oh look at that, that old way out, that's the old First Great Western style way out side. So I'm wondering if at some point they're going to replace the footbridge because this is the only way in and out of the station. So bear that in mind if um, you, know, you would need to use lifts. There's the road bridge. So here we are up on the bridge. Get a nice view of the station. I haven't been on this line many times. I went on it once on a class 47 when they still ran 47s to Bournemouth. Last year I travelled on this line and flying Scotsman. And if you want to see the next station up the line, have a look at Lincoln Screen now, it's Reading Green Park, and it opened last year. Before we leave the station, I just want to show you that because that's a bit different. Look, there's all the equipment for some engineering work that's going to happen. So you can see like there's a digger and that's like a flat wagon that the digger will tow along. So I don't think there's going to be any trains here at the weekend. Anyway, I'm now going to walk up to the church. Just walked up the road a little way from the railway station. I'm heading towards the church. If you're thinking, did he come by train? The answer is no. I drove here, there's my larder. Here's the church. Now this church as I've mentioned back at the station, it's newer than the station. It opened, or it was built rather, in 1869 by someone called Richard Armstrong. Now I understand it's replacing an earlier church on the site. It's not the original church, but it's a really nice big Victorian Gothic church. Look at that. It's one of my favourite type of buildings. It's listed building. I don't know if we're going to be able to go inside. I will try. <laughs> if we can't, um, maybe we can come back another day. I reckon if you went up there, it hasn't really got a balcony up on that tower, but you must get an amazing view. I don't know if it's any good for watching trains, because the railway is just over there. Well, you know where it is, because we can see it, the church spire from the railway station. There's the, the stairs in there, look. There's like another little stair tower in the main tower. So, there's the entrance. I'm going to take my hat off just in case the church is open because men aren't supposed to wear hats in church. Sorry about the hat here. Here's it open. Let's find out. Okay. Yeah, this is open. Um, I'm not going to get too excited. I don't know if the outing's going to be locked. Okay, yeah, it's locked. Well, maybe another time we can come back. What I'm going to do now, though, I'm going to get in my car and we're going to drive up to Mortimer Common. I've arrived at Mortimer Common now in my larder. And this area here, so it's like a common sort of ground you might 
call it the village green, it's known as the fairground. Now there is no fairground here today. That name comes from, they used to hold horse fairs here and occasionally Welsh cattle fairs. So that's why it's called the fairground. I expect um, what you'd think of a fairground with, you know, rides and games and that is potentially also held here. Over there is the other church. That's St John's Church. Now that was built in 1881, so that's even newer. So we started at the railway station, went to a newer church than the railway station, and now a newer church than that. That was because when the village up here grew, people had quite a long walk down the hill to the church. It's about at least a mile down to the church, so another mile and a quarter or so down to the railway station. So it's potential you can walk down to the station if you live up here there. And that's St John's Church. And just down there is where the shops and cafes are. There's a pub over there called the Horse and Groom. I'm going to head out across the fairground that way and we're going to go down into the countryside. Having walked across the fairground, I'm now in a completely different landscape in this woodland of mainly, it seems to be mainly holly and silver birches. I understand the name Mortimer comes from the Mortimer family. They came from Wigmore Castle in Herefordshire, so I'd like to visit one day. So, I say this area is Mortimer, this is Mortimer Common, there's also Stratfield Mortimer. Lots of choices of, you know, different parts to walk along, um, various recreational groups. I'm, I'm just doing a, a circular, really, and then that will take me back to the fairground at Mortimer Common. So having now walked through the little woodland, I'm out into open fields, and there's quite a few horses over there. We're quite high up over there. I can just sort of see down towards the valley. If I was to continue down there, I would come to Reading, and there's a horse standing here. Hello. Hello. It's uh, always nice when you go for a countryside walk and you see a horse. I don't think he's a bit shy. You're a bit shy. I'll leave the horse to uh, enjoy the nice weather. Hello. You're on YouTube. You are. That's it. Yeah. You're. You are now on YouTube. You're going to be viewed by people on the internet. I'm going to leave the horse now in peace and continue on my walk. I now feel like I'm really out in the countryside. I can see a long way, miles in that direction. Over there, come from up again, you just see some whiteness. That is some buildings in Reading. Where we were previously was just the other side of that farm over there where those horses were and you might also just be able to see see that white building there that's wokefield park it's now a conference center it was a borstal at one point but now it's used as a conference center also on the horizon again i don't think the camera's gonna pick it out i can see a line of wellingtonia trees that's over a, a three mile cross i did a walk there once and i remember it was all a lot more built up than i expected to be they built a lot of houses in that area so but yeah maybe one day we could go there i'm going to follow this path around the, the fields and the oak trees down down to the stream at the valley. I'm now at the bottom of the hill and as I said when I was at the top of the hill I thought there might be a stream down here. Well underneath this oak tree there's a little bridge that's gonna take us over the stream. This is the Lockram Brook it's called. It flows off down there. It will eventually flow into the River Thames this water does so it must come from a spring somewhere further up the hill and then as I say flows off down there down there and possibly into the river Loddon first then into the Thames I'm not too sure but anyway it goes in that direction I'm going to go in that direction up towards the oak tree and find my way back to Mortimer Common the character of this walk has changed yet again we're now on the edge of a pine woodland I'm just following my way down this well, it's a drive to some houses, but it's also mainly a public footpath and bridleway. I'm going to go down into Starvale Woods. Let me have a look. There's the other woodland there. Now, something quite interesting here. The path we're going to take is between two trees. Unfortunately, the sun is right in the way, but if you have a look close up, it looks like these trees, see that, and that, and that. It looks like these trees were once used as a gatepost, which is, or was there a gatepost and it's just been absorbed, the trees growing around it? I'm not sure, maybe if you've lived in the area for a long time and you're watching, if you remember the gate on here, um, do let me know, I'd be interested to know, you know, what it looked like. I'm gonna walk off down there now to Starvale Woods. 
I'm back at the fairground now. That was a really pleasant walk. It was about three and a half miles, so a nice circular walk. Interesting varied scenery, you know, different types of woodlands, crossing a stream out through open fields, and now common land. There's um, children's park. I don't know going on. I see those horses. I haven't seen one of those for a long time, but I can remember the park near where my grandmother lived used to enjoy playing on the horse. So this is a really pleasant village, Mortimer and Mortimer. Well, this is Mortimer Common, and then there's Stratfield Mortimer down at the railway station. So, you know, it's something if you wanted to come and visit this village, you could quite easily do it. You could drive up here as I did, or you could come by train. If you come by train, just bear in mind, it's a fairly long walk up the hill to the village. But it's been a nice winter's day walk. It's a shame none of the churches are open, but, you know, um, it's understandable they can't always be open so hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching I seem to be standing on um basketball or netball court at the moment um don't know why i'm rushing to get off it's not as a match going on anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please do feel free to like share comment and subscribe it all really helps the channel so thank you very much and from mortimer common in berkshire goodbye